Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ari and this is Moriarty's Tea and today we are going to talk about books. So it is now January and I am putting together the to be read list for January. But in the meantime, I thought I would talk about the books I read in December. The last video I did was posted in November. So it's only been a month, two months-ish since I've said anything about books. Um, I didn't really read anything though. Uh, yeah, I finished those and then I kind of took a break and then I came back because I wanted to read just a little bit more before the end of the year. And most of my books that I read were graphic novels. So the first graphic novel I want to get into is Goldie Vance by Hope Larson and Brittany Williams. When I tell y'all that this is the cutest mystery, I am not lying to you. I am not lying to you. It is the cutest mystery I think I might have ever read. Goldie Vance is a chalet at her father's, uh, at a hotel that her father works at. Her best friend works as the concierge, and she wants to be a detective so bad. The hotel already has a detective in-house, and she helps him from time to time with different cases. Uh, the very first novel I really, really liked, it was, the mysteries were short, sweet. Um, you got a couple of them to a... Um, you got a couple of them to a volume. After that, the mysteries were more in-depth, almost to the point to where one volume was one entire mystery, which I liked. It showed growth, uh, maturity, and I, I just really liked it. Like, the art is fucking gorgeous. Oh, my God. Fucking gorgeous. Um, the It had a lot to do with cars, which, like, kind of threw me for a loop. I don't really know anything about cars. I don't really read anything that has cars in it. Like, all of a sudden, she was a mystery solver, and then there was, like, space. And then, all of a sudden, we were at, like, a Formula One racing company. Um, not to say that that was bad. It was just a bit of a, a leap for me. I didn't, I didn't really see it coming, I guess, which necessarily, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, I just wasn't. Ooh, my hair. I just wasn't expecting it. Um, the, a romance between Goldie and Diane is fucking adorable. Um, I love that this comic, which seems to be geared a little bit towards younger audiences, has a same-sex romance. And it's just a same-sex romance. They just happen to be in love and they just happen to be girls. It's not forced. It's not... Uh, It just seems very natural. And that's not something you would really expect from, I guess, something geared towards children. Especially in this day and age. I loved it. Gave it five stars. I've got more in-depth reviews on my Goodreads. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I read volumes one through four. And I can't wait for volume five, which is far too far away. It's slated for a March release. Um, the next book I read was also a graphic novel. I read Jughead, The Hunger, Volumes 1 and 2, which is written by Frank Thierry and Joe Asima. Isma? One of those is correct. Um, and it follows Jughead, our beloved, beloved Riverdale Archie character, as he becomes hungry for more than just burgers. Turns out Jughead is a werewolf comes from a line of family werewolves and he's being hunted the riverdale has a ripper and people are dying turns out that jughead is a good uh, is kind of sort of responsible for that but i don't want to spoil anything um also he's being hunted by Betty Cooper and her family. And it's a good mystery and it's a good fun time. And I love werewolves. They don't really get the love. Good lord, this light is killing me. They don't really get the love that they deserve. So yeah, I'm I'm all for it. 
I am currently reading These Witches Don't Burn by uh, Isabel Sterling. I'm on, I'm listening to it on audio. I'm about halfway through, but this one is about a coven of teenage witches um, that have a bit of mystery on their hands. There are some regs, non-coven witches, that are doing some spells where they shouldn't. Um, and the main character kind of gets caught in the crosshairs. Uh, and she's also concerned that a blood witch may have come to Salem. Um, a blood witch is a very, very bad witch. They do a lot of, a lot of sacrifices because they, they work with blood. And they don't really have a, according to this, I'm not sure if blood witches actually exist. I'm sure they're perfectly fine people. Uh, but in the book, blood witches are not good people. They are um, very kind of lackadaisical about life. Uh, they kill pretty much any and everything because they need blood for their work. Um, a lot of animal sacrifices and things of that nature. So just generally not good news. I'm about halfway through right now. I really like it. Uh, it was a, off to a bit of a slow start and there was a breakup that I kind of didn't really care about that seemed to be like the forefront of the story but we've moved past that now so now it's starting to pick up and I like it a lot the number one thing I like about this is that the breakup that happened and what's ensuing the main character is a lesbian and she is learning to be a lesbian learning to love herself, learning how to interact with other lesbians and start a relationship since her first was her first lesbian relationship. You know what I mean? So she's like learning the ropes and I think that's a fun, um, I think that's a fun, oh my God, the sun is killing me, ah, to the story. And that also feels very natural, which I love. Um, so yeah, those are the books that I read slash reading in December. And I just got a few new books um, so I will be showing those off and I will probably have my January, um, TBR for next week. So, thanks for watching guys. I'm Ari, this is Moriarty's Tea, and I will see you next time. Bye!